this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video I am being joined by Esther, I am being joined by... <laughs> Wait a minute Lee, was this? That wasn't there at... Did you literally run in and break that in five seconds and then run back out? That was... That was mean, but impressive, <laughs> to be fairly. Right, have you got... Has, has all the wool dropped down there? Do we have to go and pick it up to clog it back up again? <laughs> yeah, I guess you should volunteer. Right, the big question is, can I run into my room uh, without falling? You can come in, by the way, ladies. You can, you can come in, it's fine. <laughs> I'm out of bed, it's okay. There's just a, a problem has arisen, and... Oh! Lee didn't arise. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, you can enter Pearl Fruit. There we go. That was pretty impressive. Right, let's let's clog up this hole and uh, then we can go and have our breakfast and then we can play the fishing rod game and then we can go over to the fun land to play even more games. That's right. It's going to be a fun video today. Right, breakfast time, everybody. Breakfast time. And I should probably say who I'm being joined by. Of course, I'm being joined by Lee as always and uh, as well as the, the lovely twosome of uh, Rosie and Amy Lee. So breakfast, everybody. Tuck in. I'm not that hungry today, so we can all have a little bit. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I will have most of it, and then <laughs> you guys can have a little bit. And there's a new game, by the way, which I don't think either of you have seen yet. Have you all got your fishing rods? Has everybody got a fishing rod at hand? Everybody get out their fishing rods? Right, we're not doing any fishing, uh, but we are playing a game that uses a fishing rod. If you follow me out here to the balcony, uh, you can see that there's some coloured blocks around the place uh, that have pressure plates on them. You need to flick the fishing rod so it tries to land on the pressure plate, but... But you're not allowed to jump. So these ones down there, you need to try and flick it up in the air so it kind of curves around and then goes to land on it. And we're only allowed one go each. So Lee, you look very eager. Do you want to try and show them how it's done? And uh, see if you can go and hit one of the, the coloured blocks. I think he's going for the, the yellow one. He keeps going for that yellow one. I think that's his favourite one. Don't do it too short this time, Lee. Don't do it too short. You keep doing it too short. What's that? <laughs> you do it too short and then you gradually get closer to one. You. <laughs> right, there's a good example of what not to do. Right, Amy Lee, you're up. So just pick one of the uh, one of the ones that have pressure plates on them still and go for a swing and see if you can go and try and make it land on it. So you want to make sure it doesn't get stuck on the fence. And oh, that looks good, actually. That looks really good. Ah, oh, no, slightly too far. That was still pretty impressive, though, for your first ever go. Right then, Rosie. Can you be the one person to finally hit one? And oh, look, look at Esther on the other side of the fence. <laughs> right, looks like Amy, I think, is going for that that yellow one again, I do believe. And did she even flick it then? Uh, use the uh, the left trigger there, Rosie, and you might get a, a little bit more luck. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Not, not the best of goats. You got there eventually, Rosie. We all love you. Have some lovely jubblies. Right. Stampy Cat is up. I'm going to go back for that orange one because I nearly got that one in the last... Actually, I didn't nearly get it in the last video. I did awful, didn't I? But <laughs> I didn't do too bad. So if I go and line it up, I'm going to try and scrape it down the wall if I can. <gasps> yeah! That's how you do it, everybody. Check me out. I managed to get it in first go. Well, second go because I tried last video as well. And there we go. Got some lovely jubblies. Anyway... To the fun land, everybody. I'm going to meet you over there. Uh, but first, I'm, of course, going to go and head over to my love garden and uh, mention the new person that has been added. And if you don't know what my love garden is, uh, it's very simple. Basically, if I want to say thank you to someone, I write their name down on a sign and then give them a shout out. And today, I am doing that to Betty Fellows. And that's because she sent me a picture of a doll that she has, which is a Stampy Cat doll. And I've added someone because they made a Stampy Cat doll before, so I know I'm being uh, a bit boring. But I thought that this was so amazing. I had to add her to my love garden. So thank you very much for sending me the picture, Betty. And welcome to my love garden. Anyway, enough chitter chatter. It's time to go and grab some gold. If you haven't seen the last couple videos, we've been building uh, a new game called Gold Grab. And we all need to pretend to be pirates. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice there. That wasn't a very piratey voice, was it? We all need to pretend to be pirates, we do. <laughs> and uh, we need to try and grab the gold from a gold treasure chest. And it is probably the simplest game I've ever made. All we are doing is pushing a minecart. We're literally going like this and just nudging a little minecart full of gold along like that. And that's all the game is. And uh, we're going to have a little tournament of that. Uh, but because the game's so small and simple, afterwards, uh, whoever wins the uh, the tournament 
is going to pick a mini game uh, out of all of the mini games of my fun land and we're going to play that afterwards. So we're getting a, a two for one in this video. <laughs> well, a three for one if you include the, the fishing rod game. And don't start shouting at your screen saying, Stampy, you forgot to take a dog. What are you doing? <laughs> the reason I'm not taking a dog is because there simply isn't any room in the game. And if I did take a dog, then it would just be sitting like uh, outside the entire time and not being able to play. And wait a minute. Speak, speaking of dogs, there is a dog there. There's a dog on the, the, the beak of my, my big duck fling game. Um, let me see if I can get the, the dog down, right? Let me see if I can do my ender pearls uh, a little bit better than, than Lee did earlier on, right? That looks about right. If I go and throw it now, I think I'm going to land on the hat, but that would just about do anyway. Please don't go over the entire game. Nope, <laughs> I did not land in the hat. I landed inside. All right, let's try this again. I got three ender pearls left. Surely one of them is going to allow me to get on top. Oh, that one looks good. Oh, there we go. I'm on the rim of the hat. This will do. I can edge my way around and I can hop down and I can see who is this? Who is this down here? I think that's Corey. That is, it's Corey. Were you very curious and climbed up here? How did you even get up here? And more importantly, be careful getting down. Right, if I ender pearl down, hopefully Corey's going to... There we go. Corey teleported after me. <laughs> Dogs don't need ender pearls to teleport. They're magical anyway, so they can <laughs> teleport as much as they like. Anyway, I think I am holding everybody else up. I think they've all made their way over to the mini game and they're all waiting for me. So I guess I am going to be joined <laughs> by a dog then. I, I think I might just leave Corey to, to wander around somewhere and uh, investigate the fun land like he likes to do uh, while we go and play the game. And look, there's two friendly faces. Hello, Holly. How are you doing? Where's your where's your brother? Oh, here we go. Here's Jolly. Look, look at them both standing up on their blocks, having a little look around the place. Are you okay? What are you doing? I think they're, they're just waiting for, for next Christmas, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, here's where my mini game is. Yep, looks like everybody here is correct and present. I think Amy's just having a, a little bath before the game. Is there any water down there? Yeah, there we go. Amy's got a little puddle so she can just sit in there and not dry up. <laughs> right, Corey, you can come and sit here next to sit next to Amy. <laughs> and uh, we can play the game. So if you haven't seen the last few videos, I'm going to very uh, qu uh, quickly explain the rules. As I said, it couldn't be any simpler. All you do is you press a button and then the, uh, the treasure chest should fall down from the ceiling there we go and then if we look inside we can see it's full of gold and you need to try and push the chest uh, and so it falls down one of these holes so, so if I was on the the white team I would have to push it all the way around here and push it along this way down the little dip and then through the little hole but as you can see <laughs> the other team would be trying to block it so I knock it through and that would be a point for me and it's going to be a one point elimination round which means if the other person scores then you are out so <laughs> it's going to be a, a definite hardcore game so I guess I guess me and Lee can go up against each other first then so the way this is going to work is whoever wins against uh, me and Lee uh, is going to play against whoever wins out of Amy and Rosie so I really don't want to lose now because if I lose now then I am out of the tournament completely so Lee are you ready if you're ready spin in a circle four times one two three four right oh oh no he's not oh he he went five times which means he's not quite ready yet <laughs> are you ready now though Lee <laughs> right let's do it let's do it three two one grab the gold <laughs> Right, so I guess I'm, I'm on the, the white side, so I'm trying to get it into that white hole just like I did in my demonstration. And this is a, a good start. Can I get it over the gap? There we go. I got it over the bomb, which is always one of the hardest things to do. I might get an early win. I might be able to get it straight in. Oh, no, where's it's gone? It's gone back down here. If I won then, that would have been like the quickest win we've had yet. Can I get it in? I think I did. I managed to get it in. Look at that. I am not holding back. Oh, I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. It's only a game. It's only a game, Lee. I'm sorry. I'll oh, have some lovely jubblies and some carrots and my last and look my very last ender pole in all of the world you can have that Lee <laughs> oh what was that oh don't bang your head against the wall in frustration Lee it's only a game <laughs> all right then I guess it's now gonna be I, you girls okay you you picking flowers are you <laughs> he loves me he loves me not he loves me he loves me not <laughs> if I if I may interrupt you for one second ladies we're kind of in the middle of a tournament at the moment if you wouldn't mind following me inside of the game do you, do, you want, do you want to come join me, Rosie, Amy? Come on, come on, snap out of it, ladies. Come on, get together, get together. <laughs> right, so I've explained the rules to them before, so they should know what they're doing. Uh, I guess, Rosie, you can be on the uh, white team, so you're trying to push it this way to get it down this hole over here. And Rosie, you are on the blue side, so you're trying to push it into this hole over here. First person to, pushes it, uh, to push it in is going to be the winner. And so I'm going to go and press the button now and drop it down. The second you see it drop, 
that is going to mark the beginning of the game. And then I'm going to quickly run to the doorway and try and get out of your out of your way. Right, I've pressed the button. It'll be dropping down in a second and be ready to grab the gold. Go, go, go. So no punching, no kicking, no scratching. I want a nice clean game. I think they've both lost where the minecart was. <laughs> uh, Amy, I think you're pushing it in the wrong way. I think you're on the blue side. I think you're pushing it to Rosie's hole. <laughs> oh, dear. So... Rosie, you're trying to push it into the white one. Amy's trying to push it into the blue one. There we go. Looks like Amy's pushing it in the right direction now. And uh, I think she's just about uh, to get it back to, to the middle. And you want to be careful because if you try and push it too fast, you can actually run through it and end up pushing it back the other way. Looks like Rosie's there on defense. As a quick tip, Rosie, if you jump up on the little blocks, uh, that is a good way to, to try and stop it. And it uh, seems like quite a close game. And uh, Amy's finally pushing it in the, the right direction, getting it over to the blue side, going for the tactic of slow and steady but Rosie's there ready to block she knows where Amy's trying to get it to just standing around that corner and trying to push it back in the other direction they've got it stuck it's just going back and forth oh no Amy managed to get it past and Rosie knocked it backwards over that little hole and I'm trying to stay out the way here but still see what's going on oh Amy couldn't get it through that dip once you get it past that dip You've only got to do it a few more blocks and then you're able to, to win. But it looks like Rosie's having a bit of a comeback now trying to push it over the bomb. Oh, that was a good block there by Amy. And she's pushed it back round the other way. All she needs to do is push it down this straight. But no, once again, Rosie is going and pushing it back the other way. <laughs> oh, dude, this is probably one of the closest games we've had yet. I have honestly no idea who's going to win. Amy seems to be doing a little bit better at the moment. She's keeping it on the blue side. And there we go. She's got it down the little dip. Can she do it down the final stretch? Can she push it in? And she does. Amy was the winner. <laughs> oh, well done, Amy. So that means the final is going to be Stampy Cat, myself against the mermaid Amy Lee so uh, let's do it let's let's stay with the the same team then so you can stay uh, on the blue side uh, trying to push it into blue and uh, I'm gonna go and try and push it into the white and we'll be quick Rosie we'll be quick you can you can watch from the from the window there if you want <laughs> and uh, Lee if you just try and keep all of the googlies away that will be grand right then Amy so you're going to be trying to push it in the same direction. And, uh, yeah, no, we, we want to swap sides, don't we? Yep. <laughs> it is very easy to get confused. And are you ready? If you are ready, look up into the air and punch the ceiling seven times as quick as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She is ready. I am pressing the button. Be ready to grab the gold. And here it goes. Here it goes. Okay, this is Amy's only second ever game. So I should be able to win this. I'm actually currently undefeated at the game but oh no Amy's got an amazing lead I'm not letting her win I'm not not letting her win this early there we go I managed to push it back this time I'm getting it back to the middle can I get it around the corner I did though here we go here we go I've got to be really quick before she's able to catch up can I get it around and I have I've got it over the block can I get it over that final dip and get it in oh no Amy's pushing it back Amy's pushing it back right I need to block it there we go I got a good block there oh no she managed to get it past me and this is such an exciting game. It's going so back and forth. I can't even see where it is. I've lost the treasure. <laughs> Where's the treasure map? There we go. I got it back over that dip. Can I get it go through here though? Yes, I've done it. I've done it. I've just got to get it in the home stretch. Oh no, where's it gone? Where's the chest gone? Oh, it's still, it's stuck in the hole. The treasure's stuck in a hole. <laughs> the gold is weighing it all down. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh no, Amy's pushing it back this way. Right, I'm going to be a block. Oh no, she managed to get it through me. My tactic didn't work of just standing on that little pole. But here we go. I'm getting it back this side. Amy's doing amazing defense. It. I just can't get it in. I keep getting it so close, but then keep getting knocked back. Oh no, she's managed to get it back to the middle. It is still all to play for. Remember, as soon as they score, you are eliminated. This is the final. This is to see who is going to be the gold grab champion. And not only that, they're also going to be the person who decides what game we are going to play after this. And I already know what game I want to play, so I really want to win. And all I need to do is push it in, and I have done it, and I have won! Woo, 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 woo! Undefeated gold grab champion. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I hate it though because I'm happy because I win, but then I just immediately feel bad because someone else had to lose. I wish we could just all win. They tell you what, we all won. I mean, technically I won, but let's just say we all won. Have I got a present for you? Uh, I, I don't really have anything mermaids would like. Do mermaids like coal? Would you like a little bit of coal? Yes, you want some coal? There you go. Have a little bit of coal. That will make you feel better. Anyway, no time to waste because we got more games to play. And where's Lee? <laughs> are you there having a little are you having a staring contest with Corey <laughs> oh dear who's winning Lee who's winning are you winning no I think Corey's winning look at him he's not even twitching at all oh no here comes a spider here comes a spider watch out <laughs> get him Corey get him Corey go on go after the spider 
Nope, <laughs> he's not interested. He's normally curious, but he wasn't there. Anyway, so I'm gonna decide what game we're gonna play next, and I already know uh, what game I wanna play. If everyone follows me, uh, this is a game that I'm not sure how many of you have seen, and uh, I think only me and Lee have played this one. And it sounds a little bit confusing, uh, but promise me, uh, I promise you, sorry, it's very simple, and it's the game inside of the Massic uh, Rubik's Cube, and it's called Sheer Fun. And that's because you're shearing and the game is fun. And hi, Holly. Hi, Jolly. I keep running into you this video. <laughs> and so what the aim of the game is, is to, um, you've got to run inside here and you need to, to get as many uh, coloured pieces of wool in your colour. So if you will follow me in here, don't drop into your pods yet, but you can all pick a colour. Um, I'm going to go yellow. Uh, Amy, if you go red and Rosie, you can go blue. And so you're going to climb up this ladder and then you drop down the hole. And at first you're going to be stuck in this pit. And you can see there's one sheet there uh, of your colour. And then in a minute, that block's going to lift up. So you can then jump up uh, to get up here. And then up here, there's a whole load of sheep which are just white. And you need to try and dye them your colour and then shear them. And it's the first person to get enough blocks in their colour so they can uh, pile up uh, in the middle here. And so say if I was the blue team, I need to pile up with blue wool to climb up all the way up to the top here where there's a button. And then when you press the button, then you win. So you basically just need to run around, dyeing the sheep your colour, and then shearing them until you've got enough wool to be able to, to climb up. That's what the, the game is. But you only have five pieces of wool, uh, five pieces of dye, sorry, in your colour. And so if you dye all of your sheep uh, really quickly, and then eventually you could run out of dye. And so you want to try and uh, pace it out. So it's quite a fast paced game. And it's good fun. So if everyone runs over here, looks like they're doing it already. Uh, you need to get uh, five pieces of dye of your colour and one pair of cheers. And no cheating, uh, no getting any more than five. So if you just stand on the pressure plate, there we go. It fires a rule out and you can grab it easily. Your shears are down here, Amy. If you want to go and grab them. Oh, I picked them up. Uh, there you go. And if I go stand down here, there we go. I should have my five pieces of yellow dye and my, my pair of shears. So uh, let's go and play the game then, everyone. If everyone goes inside and hops into their pods, uh, we will begin the sheer fun game. Uh, where, where's Lee Bear? Is Lee Bear around here? Uh, are, are, you in, are you up in your pod already, Lee? I, I can't tell. Is, is he up here crouched? Is he or has he wandered off somewhere? There he is. Hello, Lee. I think he was just checking the perimeter to make sure we're googly free. <laughs> and we seem to be so. So I'm going to press the start button. That will begin a timer uh, that is going to count down and then we can begin the game. And as I said, this is a, another game which I'm undefeated at. So I'm going to hopefully try and keep the record and you want to be as quick as you can. And you don't have to stay up at the top. You're allowed to always run back down and shear the sheep uh, that is in your pen. But you're not allowed to shear them until the game has started. So any second now that block is going to push up and then the shearing can begin. And this is really tense. I'm not sure when it's going to pop up. Come on, please work. Ready, steady, and go! Right, up, 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 there we go. <laughs> I'm good at that, I got a good lead up here. Right, so I don't wanna dye them all yellow yet in case someone dies over all of them. There we go, I managed to get three pieces of dye. And oh no, oh no, Lee died over my one. There we go, I can die over Rosie's one. And no, Rosie, use the left trigger this time. This time use the left trigger. <laughs> don't hurt my sheep. And oh no, so they're all, they're all now naked which means we need to wait for them to eat for the wool to grow back. And while that's going on, I'm going to hop back down here and shear this sheep down here to try and get a bit more wool. I'm not actually sure how many pieces of wool you need to pile up. I think it might be about 10 or maybe 12 or something. So I'm just going to make sure I got more than enough to make sure I don't uh, run out too short. Now, this is the tense moment. This is where we're all just waiting. We've got to wait to see who is going to be the hungry sheep, who's going to be the first sheep to go and try and eat some grass to get their wool back. And I don't know which ones I yellow either. I might need to die quick. Oh, this one's going. That one's going. Oh, one. oh, no. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think Lee sheared it, but he didn't die at first, so I just got some yellow wool out of it. <laughs> oh, dear. Which one looks hungry? They all look hungry, to be honest. They're all so skinny when they've got no wool on. I might just stay watching one of them. Uh, just to make sure when it does eat, I am going to be definitely the one to go and grab it. I think Amy's gone downstairs uh, to go and shear her red sheep down in her pen. Yeah, I can see her uh, down there ready to, to shear that, this one. But why aren't any of them eating? <laughs> and they're probably like, why are all these people running around? It pro it's probably a bit unnerving for them. They probably <laughs> lost their appetite from us running up here and shearing them all like crazy. Let me go down here and quickly see whether my one down here's walls regrow. Nope, that one has not eaten yet either. So let me go back upstairs, see if I can catch one of these. There seems to be plenty of tasty grass for them, but none of them seem to be too hungry yet. I've still got 
uh, three pieces of yellow wool left. So I still uh, should have plenty. And oh, this one's going. This one's going. And I've dyed it and I've sheared it. There we go. I managed to now get nine pieces of wool. I'm doing pretty well here. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, everyone else got distracted and went downstairs to get them. And this one's going again. This one's going again. There we go. I managed to get ten. Okay, I think I'm going to wait until I get twelve. And then I'm going to go and try and pile up. But I'm scared someone else is going to beat me. I can't remember how many blocks we need to pile up. <laughs> I should have probably checked before we began. And which one's going to be the next hungry sheep? I think I've done a, a good job of guessing which one's the hungry sheep's going to be. I think this one. I think this sheep I'm looking at right now. I think that one looks like it wants to have some grass. Would you like a little bit of grass? A little bit of a little bit of lawn? Would you like a little nibble and a few blades of grass? It's very tasty. Look. Num, 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 num. Oh, I love grass, me. No, I don't like eating cakes. If I could eat anything, I would eat grass. Why don't you eat some grass? Num, 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 num. No. <laughs> I don't think my little pep talks <laughs> making the, the sheep any hungrier. All right, let me go back down once again just to check if this sheep... Oh, this one has... This one's wool's growing back. Let's see how many I get. There we go. I managed to get uh, three pieces. So I got 13. I think this is enough. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can I reach the button from here? I can. This is perfect. I've pressed the button and I should have won. And now if I hop my way down here, you can hear a little song playing. Yay! There's my little victory tune. <laughs> Oh, I love that game so much. I love that game. It is sheer fun. I love just the, the frantic running around waiting for the, the sheep to eat for their, their wool to grow back. <laughs> oh dear, jolly good. That was fun. I miss having videos where we just play a bunch of mini games. Tell you what, tell you what, I'm making a promise right now. My next episode, we're not going to do any work. All we're going to do is spend the entire video running around my fun land, playing as many mini games as we can before the game ends. So I'm really looking forward to that. Sadly though, that is the end of this video here. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Minecraft helpers, Lee, Amy and Rosie, uh, for joining me in the video. And there we go, Lee's just about got enough wool now. <laughs> and I of course, as always, want to say a massive thank you to you for watching the video. Video, and I will see you all later. Bye!